Hello viewers, myself Pobi Gogoi, a PhD research scholar of the Department of Geology, Guwahati University. At the very outset, I would like to thank Geological Society of Assam for providing such a great platform of online teaching in this harsh time of COVID-19 pandemic. In this lecture, we will discuss about gap junction and connexin, which is a very small topic from PG syllabus. After going through this PPT, the students will get to learn some key aspects of gap junction. That includes what are gap junctions, their structure and functions, synthesis, assembly, and degradation of connexin. And lastly, the students will get to know some important diseases related to gap junction. We all know that direct interaction between cells as well as between cells and extracellular matrix are critical for development and functioning of multicellular organisms. Some cell-to-cell -cell interactions are transient, like in case of the cells of immune system. However, in other cases, there are many types of stable cell-to-cell -cell junctions that play key role in communication as well as organization of cells in tissues. Gap junctions are open channels through the plasma membrane that establish direct connection between the cytoplasm of adjacent cells of individual tissues like liver, heart, epithelium, etc. Since the pore size of the channel has a diameter of 20 angstrom, only ions and molecules less than 1000 Dalton in size can diffuse freely through these channels. On the other hand, passes of larger molecules like proteins, nucleic acids is not allowed. Interestingly, opening and closing of these gap junctions are sensitive to certain factors in the cytosol, which are mainly calcium ions and pH inside the cell. Gap junction remain closed at high cytosolic concentration of calcium ion and low pH while opposite is the condition for opening of the same. That means at high pH and low calcium ion concentration, gap junctions open up. So these are the two major factors that regulate functioning of this particular cell-to-cell -cell junction in individual tissue. Now, let us see the structural organization of a gap junction. A gap junction is constructed of transmembrane proteins of connexin family. Six connexins assemble to form a cylinder with an open aqueous pore in its center. Such an assembly of connexin proteins is called a connexion. A connexion in the plasma membrane of one cell align with a connexion of an adjacent cell to form an open channel between two cytoplasms. Now, if we see the structure of an individual connexin, it consists of four transmembrane domains, M1, M2, M3, and M4. And these four transmembrane domains are connected by two extracellular loops, which are EL1, and EL2 and again by another intracellular loop which is IL. Both the amino and carboxyl end of a connexin lie in the cytosolic side. As I have just mentioned, a connexin is made up of four transmembrane domains and six connexin assemble to form a connexin. Connexins, if combined with same type of connexin isoforms, it is called homomeric connexin. And if combined with different type of connexin isoforms, it is referred to as heteromeric connexin. Connexin form gap junction channels by interacting with either identical 
homomeric connection in adjacent cells or by interacting with identical heteromeric connections in adjacent cells. And such type of gap junctions are called homotypic channels. In heterotypic channels, connections are different. That means there are different homomeric connections that align to form a channel and there can be different heteromeric connections that align to form a channel. So such type of interaction or such type of gap junctions are called heterotypic gap junction channels. Now, moving on to the synthesis, assembling, and degradation of gap junction membrane channel. The figure shows schematic steps involved in this process. Synthesis of connexin polypeptide occur in endoplasmic reticulum membrane, which are then undergo oligomerization into homo and heteromeric gap junction connexons. Following that, connexons passes through the Golgi stalks and then are stored in the trans-Golgi membrane. After that, trafficking of connection through microtubules occurs and then they are inserted into the plasma membrane of the cell. In the plasma membrane, gap junction connection can undergo lateral diffusion. Formation of gap junction between two adjacent cells occurs through connexion interaction and the process is facilitated by calcium dependent cell adhesion molecules. Ultrastructural studies have revealed that aggregation of individual gap junction channels produce two dimensional array of channels called plaques. Typically, a single plaque may contain a dozen to many thousand individual channels and it can extend from less than 100 nanometer to several micrometer in diameter. Studies have revealed that half-life of connexin in general ranges from 1 to 5 hours and it has also showed that degradation process of gap junction involves removal of gap junction from the plasma membrane and formation of annular junction which is the early degradation product of gap junction. After internalization, gap junctions are degraded by lysosomal and proteosomal pathways. So this is the whole process whereby connexin synthesis their assembly and degradation process happen. Now, let us discuss about some of the very important functions of gap junctions. Gap junctions allow direct cytoplasmic passes of small hydrophilic molecules that include nutrients like simple sugar, amino acid, etc. Second messenger molecules such as cyclic AMP, IP3, etc ions like calcium, sodium, potassium, and some small metabolites. Gap junctions play important function in electrical impulse conduction across cells to generate muscle contraction in different tissues like heart, gastrointestinal system, etc. Gap junctions allow electrical impulse conduction in nerve cells of brain also. They protect a cell from neighboring damaged cells by closing of their channels due to the presence of high concentration of calcium ion. So these are some of the important functions of gap junction. Several human diseases have been found to result from mutation of genes that encode the connexin protein of gap junction. The human genome contains 21 genes encoding different connectins, which are divided into three subfamilies, alpha, beta, and gamma. 
Mutations in eight of these genes have been identified as causes of human diseases. For example, in charcot marie tooth disease, there is mutation in the gene encoding connexin 32. In deafness, five of the genes are mutated, which are connexin 26, connexin 30, connexin 31, connexin 32, and connexin 43. In skin diseases like erythrokeratoderma of Herjavillis, there are mutations in connexin 31 and connexin 30.3. In Vovinkel syndrome, connexin 26 gene is mutated. In cataract, both connexin 46 and connexin 50 genes are mutated. So, these are some of the diseases related to gap junction. That's all for today's presentation. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all like this presentation. Thank you.